We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will defend, help defend Israel. And Iran will not succeed. Which world do you live in that, where Israel has all the right to defend, but Iran doesn't? So do you think that Israel can go and attack any other diplomatic mission if this is proved to be actually a diplomatic mission and you don't expect them, any country to retaliate? So now Americans and Israelis are panicking and panicking big time. Why? Because they fear that, that Iran a, may finally launch its attack on Israel. Now, if, if you remember on the 1st of April, today we are on 13th of April. So 13 days ago, Israel, which is behaving like mad dog, a rogue regime run by a bloodthirsty terrorist, Benjamin Netanyahu, backed by, you know, a robotic president of an, another, another failed state called United States of America, you know, uh, just went and attacked a diplomatic uh, enclave um, of Iran. So Iranian uh, diplomatic mission in Damascus, which is Damishk in Arabic, was attacked by Israel on the 1st of April. It killed, you know, a senior commander of, um, of uh, uh, you know, Iranian forces. Now, you can't, you can't, you know, expect uh, the country to not retaliate. Now, since then, this question has been asked on multiple occasions to various spokespersons of the US regime. State Department spokesperson, every time, you know, he was asked about it, said, oh, we haven't been able to verify who was behind it. Uh, Iran, of course, argues that a diplomatic facility was was, was struck in, in, uh, in Damascus. Uh, has there been an assessment at this point from the United States whether this was indeed a, a strike at a diplomatic facility? We do not have a, a final determination. It's something we're still assessing. Is it? Do you think there will be an assessment at some point from the U.S.? On that? I, I do, but it's something we're continuing to work through. They're still investigating. Why? Because their pet child or illegitimate child, you know, Israel is behind it. So therefore, you know, you can understand the delay. And then you have the audacity to warn Iran to not attack you or not take retaliatory step. That Iran delayed or changed the plans to attack Israel in, at the last moment due to U.S. warnings. Uh, can you confirm that? And do you still expect uh, an Iranian uh, uh, reaction to that attack uh, on Damascus? So I'm not going to speak to what Iran may or may not do or what our assessments are. You don't need an intelligence community assessment to, to see the threats that Iran has been making. They've been making those threats quite publicly and quite loudly over the, the past few days. So we will continue to send the message to them that it is not in their interest to escalate this conflict, and it's not in the region's broader interest, and we hope other partners will send that same message. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Nadia. Sure. Um, I wanted to ask this question, actually, to the ambassador, but the uh, Iranian mission at the UN said that basically if the US, or the Security Council, rather, condemn uh, the attack on the consulate in Damascus, this could have, uh, any uh, retaliation could have been avoided. So is this your understanding that actually you don't condemn it because you cannot verify whether it is a diplomatic mission or not? And also, do you think that Israel can go and attack any other diplomatic mission if this is proved to be actually a diplomatic mission and you don't expect them, any country to retaliate? So uh, Just to explain a, 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 few, a few things just in, in order. First of all, I think that's a pretty flimsy excuse from the Iranian government. If they don't want to widen this conflict and they don't want to attack Israel, they don't need permission from anyone else, either at the United Nations, or they just have to make the decision not to do that. And that's the decision that they should make. Now, with respect to your second question, um, no, we do not want to see attacks on diplomatic facilities. Uh, we oppose dip attacks on diplomatic facilities. We continue to assess the uh, exact status of that facility in Damascus and don't have a final determination on that question. Why would it not? Tell me. If it was Iran, let's put it other way, if it was Iran which had attacked Israeli diplomatic mission in some third some th th third country, how would you have reacted? Then Israel has a right to defense. Israel has the right to defend, but Iran doesn't have a right to defend. 
a country which is run by a literally a terrorist he should be in the jail he should be facing the war crime charges at the hague but because he's backed by america so therefore it has all the right to break every international law and international humanitarian laws but a country which is absolutely not responsible here you suspect that it is backing hamas you suspect that it is backing hezbollah but it has it has no direct involvement in what is going on in gaza but israel which is directly involved in launching attacks not just in gaza where it has like killed more, you know uh, of course officially more than 33000 people but unofficially we suspect more than 100000 people we would know when the final you know figures emerge uh, and then has been attacking in uh, lebanon and then syria and what not so suddenly you are worried and what has increased their tension was the development this morning iranian forces seized you know one of the commercial vessels belonging to an israeli billionaire ayal ofer you see this video this is so dramatic you can see the special iranian forces you know um, descending from a helicopter onto the vessel before taking control of that and that is a big warning to america and israel now there is another there there is another dimension to it israelis and americans are not worried about the direct confrontation with um, iran for nothing they are worried that iran may go nuke because iran has 150 kg of uranium enriched to 60% now if you go through the washington post report which has quoted various experts that that is capable of making three bombs within days we are talking about not even months or weeks within days iran is capable of making three nuclear bombs that is what is giving israelis and americans sleepless night yeah. what is your message to iran in this moment don't our american personnel will that at that risk mr president, president? mr president, president are our, our american president. troops at risk as well We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will defend, help defend Israel, and Iran will not succeed. Thank you very much. Now there is a there is a fatwa against building bombs at the moment, but then the the supreme leader of Iran has, is being urged by various uh, heads of the civil society within Iran to reconsider and rescind that fatwa. Now there are credible reports. the supreme leader may reconsider his decision and cancel that fatwa secretly discreetly so that iran so that israel and america don't uh, have time to react and crack on with their plans to build bombs now who is going to be responsible god forbid if that happens god forbid if there is a nuclear war who is going to be responsible all these war criminals who are running uh, the countries like israel and america i mean who you you would expect a guy representing a democratic party to have liberal values to talk about peace but he has become one of the biggest war mongers joe biden and the guy who is talking about peace and no war is the guy donald trump i mean just imagine i have to praise donald trump that's how bad joe biden has become the people like me have to praise joe donald trump for all the right reasons now that is a real real frightening situation we are in right now after what happened this morning because if this continues and if america doesn't control you know the waywardness of israel then you can't keep warning iran not to take retaliatory actions and not to defend itself i mean which world do you live in that where israel has all the right to defend but iran doesn't no other countries have that's not going to work this is not 1980s or 1990s this is 2024 that rhetoric is not going to work and it will backfire 
and it is already backfiring. We'll keep you posted on this story and other stories affected that region. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so because that's one of the many ways you can support independent journalism. God bless you all.